Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we sip and spill the tea on all my favorite things. Before we get into today's video, what am I sipping on? I'm actually sipping on a bubbly um, blackberry um, over ice and then I steeped up this, it's like Kroger's brand of tea. Um, it's like a fruity one. I actually don't remember the name. I know that's awful, but I'm trying to sip down that. Okay, so... I don't know how to pronounce the brand, so if I'm chopping it up, I'm sorry about that, but Hayden, had any on, <laughs> um, they liked that I did their, their milk frother, they, um, wanted me to try out the foaming soap dispenser, so they sent this to me, and I think that's perfect with the pandemic and everything, and I've got teenagers, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try this out for you guys, so it's supposed to be automatic foaming soap dispenser, now, I just opened everything up, and read through the instructions and realized I don't have foaming soap and I can't even find any in our area due to the pandemic. So I'm going to show you guys what we're going to try. We're going to see if it'll work. Here's the specs on the side in case you need to see that. It does have a little infrared sensor in there. And let me show you guys the dispenser. So here's what it looks like. It's really nice and sleek, very modern looking. And underneath here, you have your infrared sensor. Here's the bottom. The bottom is plastic. We've got a power switch on the top, which is actually nice and big. It looks like it'd be easy to clean as well. And what we're going to do, it's, you're, you open it up. Here's your battery compartment. So we're going to, with my long nails that desperately need to get cut. All right, let's, we've got our plus and minuses, so... We're going to put our battery in. Boy, I hope this works. I'm going to be sad. I emailed them and said, I'm sorry this is taking so long, but, you know, due to the pandemic, I mean, it's like hard to find anything right now. Long nail problems. All right. So we put the batteries in and next we're going to use, I have some Walgreens hand soap. So that's what I'm going to try to use and see if that will work. Included in your package, you do get like a frequently asked questions sheet. And then of course your user guide and it's got like step-by-step -step picture. So I kind of read through there. So hopefully it'll be okay. Um, they do have a list of hand soaps in here that they like recommend which is pretty cool. So I've been looking for the dial one, but it's been hard to find at our store. So hopefully I can find one of those, but we're going to go ahead and try out regular soap just to see what will happen. And I hope that it doesn't blow up in our face. So let's go ahead and fill this. All right, Valerie, don't make a mess. Why are, oh, all right. I don't think I'm gonna fill it all the way up just in case it doesn't work. So I think just putting that much in there for right now, you know, cause we don't really know what's gonna happen. And I figured you guys would ask anyway, like, well, what would happen if I put regular soap? So I was gonna do it anyway. So let's go ahead and head to the bathroom and all turn right, this so on. So here we are in our bathroom and Here's the old school, like traditional soap dispenser we have. So let's try out this one here. Let me try to get a good, good angle for you. Let's see, I think we can deal with. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press for three seconds. It turns green. This is now on the low foam mold. If, mode, not mold. <laughs> if you guys wanna go to high foam, you just tap it one time and it turns red. Tap it again, it goes back to low. So then we're supposed to put our, oh. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like, oh. Okay. Maybe. In the frequently asked questions, it said something about if you're gonna use regular detergent, add two to four times the water. So I just did that. I'm thinking that it just is not made for the thick soap 
So let's see if that works. Let's see if we can get it to. Nope. All right, let me try some. For the purpose of the video, the, the soap clogged the little tube. So I did have to remove the tube and clear it out. So they're not joking about that. All right, let's try it again. Come on. You can do it. I think it's just got to be the foaming soap. And I know what y'all are thinking. Well, Valerie, stop. Well, Valerie, it told you that that's what it needed. See, it's just, it's not getting suctioned up in there. But, it's not my fault we don't have foaming soap. So, see, it's all stuck in the tube. Let me see. I'm going to go out and see if by chance I can find some. But, I was going to try, I'm going to add a little more water too. I was going to try regular water any or regular soap anyway because I knew people would ask like hey you know what if we just have regular hand soap oh oh put it on high seeing if it'll suction all right guys it's not gonna work with regular soap so we're going to flip. By the time you guys see the next part, I will have already went to the store and found some foaming hand soap. All right. Here we are an embarrassing amount of weeks later. But we finally got some foaming hand wash. So I just got the Equate. Like literally this is all our store had. So I'm going to pour this into the bottom. And we're finally going to see if it works. Okay. So this is how much liquid I got from just one bottle. Oh. Screw it on. Oh, please. It's trying to get me already. Okay. It's been on this whole time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh. It is. Look. Let me wash this off. It doesn't come out as foamy as the Equate, but... It's not their nozzle, but this is a foaming hand wash. And it does seem to be richer in lather. Like um, when you disperse it out of the Equate one, it's more airy and light, but this has a nice lather to it. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can see, it's almost like shaving cream. I really like that. I keep washing it off just to do it again like a little kid. Seems like the closer you get to it, the better. See, far away, not so good, but up close. It does a pretty good job. And I think that it does have a little inconsistency in how it's coming out. Let me reset it and see if that does anything. Okay, I changed it to the longer press because I couldn't really remember what it was on. And that seems to be doing a lot better of a job than the short disbursement. So if you put it on the long one, it definitely does a much better job. And you get almost like, like I said, like shaving cream lather. It does the job, but to be honest, um, you know, I'm going to be really, really honest on this one. I wouldn't personally pay that for this unit. I really, really wouldn't. Um, the lather is nice and everything. Um, I feel like even though I have it set to the longest setting, a lot of soap really isn't coming out of it. It does like do the job of hand washing. If you owned a business or like a preschool or something, possibly. But sometimes you get a good amount of soap and sometimes you don't. So I like Hayden Neon products a lot. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. They did send this to me to review my thoughts on it. 
but I'm really not so impressed with it. I, I'm going to be honest. I think that, you know, yeah, it's touchless. I like the build. I like the button on the top. I like how easy it is. But I find that just the results are really inconsistent sometimes. It's hard to try to get the same amount. See, sometimes you get a lot and sometimes you don't. And I feel like people would be putting their hand further up there, um, you know, to try to get more soap. And so you're still touching it. So on this one, I'm, I'm going to have to say it just depends on what type of person you are. I personally wouldn't purchase this unit with my own money. I appreciate them letting me try it. I think the concept is neat. But I think that it needs to work on the consistency a little bit because the whole point is to be touchless and not to touch the unit. And, you know, if, I don't know, I could just see, like, if you were in a public restroom, like I said, a doctor's office, whatever, people would be trying to get all up on it, like, oh, nothing's coming out, let me touch it. And see, you just don't always get the same amount, so, mm. I'm a little disappointed in this one. I'll leave a link down below just in case you guys, I'm trying to wash my hands off, just in case you guys do want to pick this up. Um, but for me, it's going to be a pass on this one. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, oh, it's, it's awesome because it's really not. And I'm not going to do that just to continue to get free products. You guys know that I stand behind what I say. And this one to me is a big pass. So thank you for sending this to us for review. I think there's some work to be done on the consistency that comes out of it. And um, yeah.